Oh, what's going on, everyone? This is you, and this is done with a purpose. Got your money, and enjoy. Because I feel like to give people a better understanding of what you know this book is about, you know what, what it means to be young, what it means to be actually young and have a purpose. I know I discuss this a lot on my YouTube channel and on Instagram and other social media platforms, but I was going to give you guys a little bit of insight of what my life is actually like, and that you know that I don't live a glamorous life by any means. You know I just got out of college. Um, <laughs> You know, right now I'm broke. You know, you know, look for a job. You know, and you know, I'm just trying to get my poetry career started. And you know, I'm still, I'm still, in the, I'm still, um, I'm still at the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. You know, in terms of, um, you know, social standards. And you know, but like, I'm not, you know, I'm not in that lane, though. You know. I'm in God's name, so I do things with God's speed. I do things with, you know, I'm, I'm God driven. <laughs> Hence the title of my one of my poems in the book, but God driven, because I want people to know that it's not about, you know, me trying to be famous. It's not about me trying to, have, you know, get money. You know, you know, I want those things in, in this, to a certain degree. You know, I want to have notoriety. I want to be able to travel. I want you to do things that normal people can't do, but at the same time, I want you to know that Christ is not my normal focus, that God is my normal focus, you know, in making this documentary, in making this book, and, and everything I do. So, that's why I want, that's why I, the message I want to send in this documentary. My inspiration on the book was that, that I want to impact people. You know, particularly young people who are lost and are trying to find themselves. You know, as somebody who was, you know, young and who was purpose driven, I want to be an example of somebody who's, you know, not not necessarily as a person who has made it, but be an example of somebody who's, you know, on a journey with them. You know, somebody who's gone through, you know, periods of doubt, gone through periods of, you know, feeling lonely, feeling feeling like I'm I'm not doing like I'm doing so wrong. You know, I feel like you know, I'm, if I would have done this right. You know, I went so much further. Like you know, I want I want this book to relate to be relatable but also inspirational at the same time because I feel like so many young people, you know, don't have you know, they look at they look at success as something that's like, you know, far fetched or something that's, you know, um you know, um, you know, outside the reach, so to speak, you know, especially the way things are now with the job market and the um, cost of living being the way it is. Like, I want to be somebody who's an example of, you know, hey, I've been where you are, hey, I can, you know, I've been where you are, and I can help you, you know. And, and, and to be honest, you know, I'm not where I am right now. I'm not where I want to be in life right now. You know, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still, you know, trying to make ends meet. I'm still trying to, you know, you know, I'm still trying to, um, you know, move up, move on, you know. I'm still trying to, you know, figure out how I'm going to live on my own and stuff like that. And, and like, I'm not where I want to be in life myself, so I get it. But, like, I, but my difference is between me and, like, most people is that I know what, I know my calling. I know where God's trying to take me. 
and that's where that's what I'm trying to show young people is that you know if you have patience, if you have um, if you have patience, if you have um, you know a good work ethic, and you have um, faith, then good things will come to you. Um, spec some, you know, spec some passion, pain, and purpose. Um, you know, those are three words, the best words I can describe this book because um, this book is for those who, you know, again, who have dreams, who have goals, you know, but don't really know how to go about it. And like, and I want this book for those people because, um, you know, when you, when guys call you to do something, a lot of times you feel like it's too hard, you know, times you feel like you don't know the right people, and like, you know, when God calls you to do something, you're not going to know what you want, you're not going to know how to do, go about it, you know, how to go do it, you know, and you're just figuring things out, and and that's something that I talk a lot about in this book, you know, I just book, you know, you see me, you know, saying, God, how do I do this, God, God, when's going to be my time, you know, I believe this is my time, you know, and I'm just, you know, and, and that's, what I want to tell people who are reading this book that, you know, God's time is not our timing. And, and you know, I, I tried, you know, everything, you know, I, you know, I looked at, you know, YouTubers, I was, you know, watching, you know, reading books and stuff like that. And how can I, you know, make money, look for jobs. And, you know, I just felt kind of stuck for a long time. And, like, you hear a lot of stuff coming out the book. So if you, if you're in that specific position where you just want to try to make the where you're trying to make moves and you just don't know how where how to go about it. This book is for you. So what does it mean be young with a purpose? Maybe you know being young with a purpose just means that you have a calling, you have direction in your life. You know, like most young people don't really know what you want to do with their life. They just you know do what their parents want them to do with life, what they want, or they do something that's going to make them the most money, but, you know, they don't really enjoy it, and, you know, having a purpose really means that you, that means you have a calling, that means you have a mission, that means, you know, you live for something bigger than yourself, and that's something that I had to learn last year, um, last year I was kind of going through a rut, and I was going to come through a rough time in my life, um, you know, you know, trying, you know, trying to graduate, and you know, had, um, you know, had only setbacks, you know, trying to graduate, but ended up, you know, failing a couple classes. Um, you know, I had a, you know, um, you know, having, you know, I was going to do spoken word, I was doing spoken word for a bit, and then I kind of stopped because of, you know, it was so I didn't, I wasn't driving yet, and you know, I was just so frustrated with my life myself and I was just like man like I've been doing like I've been waiting I'm gonna do one this for so long but yeah I'm still not going anywhere you know what gives and then that's when you know I had to really think about my purpose and like what I'm gonna call to do you know not get so caught up in like you know money and you know success and stuff like that. I mean even though like even though of course you know I want to make money I want to have stability but like you know I, I remember that God when you have when you when you do something that when you walk in your calling like, you know, like, God has your back. Like, he's going to make the thing that seems impossible, possible. And that's what it means to have a purpose. Like, you, you know what it means that you're called by God. And it means that you're, you know, you have, you know, something bigger than yourself, something that you could do that, something that you could do that's, you know, extraordinary. You know, it's, it's beyond the norm. And, and you're doing it, you know, you're doing it for a greater cause, you know. So, having a purpose just means that you have a calling in your life, and you know it's not it's not you know it's not necessarily you know it's not a career. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you know career. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean a profession per se. It doesn't really necessarily a a job, but it just means that you know it means that you're called to do something. It's, it's something it's something that you do daily. It's not just something you just do for a paycheck. It's not just something you do once a in a blue moon, but it's something you do daily, like being a nice person, um, I'm called to like serve, you know, I'm called to um I'm called to um, you know you know, um teach or I'm called to um 
minister like that's that's what it means that's what a, a calling is that's what a purpose is Yeah, God has played a big role in my life. Um, you know, like throughout the throughout my whole life, God has been there for me. Like I was supposed to be able to live, I was supposed to be able to talk. Like when I was a baby, like I didn't really have a future. You know, I, you know, I didn't have a future. You know, I was supposed to be, you know, I wasn't supposed to be here right now. Like you know, like I wasn't supposed to do nothing. Supposed to do right now. So I'm so grateful for everything God's done for my for my life. You know. Um, you know, the seasons, the storms, the tests, like, I'm glad that, you know, that I learned, that I got through, I was, I was able to overcome those, those dark moments, you know, in my life, and, you know, I'm glad I have, he's able to bring me with a nice family, um, you know, a nice community of people, and, like, you know, I'm glad that I was able to overcome those days where I just felt like giving up, and I just felt like quitting, um, because there were plenty of moments where I just felt like, man, this is too hard, what am I doing, you know, I wasn't ready for all this, like, there, I had those moments, believe me, I did, but, you know, it was the support from, you know, you guys on YouTube, and, you know, and, you know, my, you know, the people I know personally, that kept me going, and, and that's why, you know, I was able to write some of these poems, that's it, so, that has definitely played a, a big role in my life, definitely. My plans for the book is, is um, for now, I just want to sell it to the people who I know, anybody who I know, who knows me, where to be online, where to be in real life. But hopefully, what my plans are, if the book really does well, I hope to do a book tour. You know, like I want to travel. I want this I want this book not just to be a book, but I want to be a lifestyle. You know, with a purpose. I want it to be something where you can wear your t-shirts, you can wear on your, your wristband. Like it's a lifestyle, but it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I mean, I know Young With a Purpose, I know people think, oh, it's for young people, but like, you know, but if you're 50 years old, if you're 60 years old, you know, more, you know you're that age where, you know, kind of like in middle age um, territory, you know, and you still feel young, you know, you can wear it yourself, because that's the, the market I'm really aiming for is the parents, because I know a lot of parents, you know, are struggling to, you know, are struggling, you know, raising kids, raising teenagers, and, you know, you know, they want the kids to do, to do something productive, and they don't, you know, they say, man, there's no hope for my generation, there's no hope, you know, all you want to do is, all you want to do is play video games and, and be on Snapchat all day, like, you know, I, my plans are, you know, to reach the older audience, you know, the ones who are like 35 and over, the ones who are raising teenagers, you know, who says, man, that young man right there, he's doing something, like, he's only 22, and he's, you know, he's writing, he's writing poetry, he's, he's a college graduate, you know, he's a man of God. Like, I want them to say that, you know, let's say, man, that you have somebody to look up to. You have somebody, to, an example of somebody who know what it feels like to be, you know, lonely, know what it feels like to be, you know, on the field, lost. Like, I want, you know, I want this book to be something that parents will be able to tell your children, that the parents will give to your children. And also, um, also, the uh, audio version of this book will also is in the works right now. You know, I think that will be something that I can reach even more people because the audio books are pretty popular right now. I buy like, most of the books I got on my Kindle or, or audio. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on definitely reaching out, releasing an audio version soon. And, you know, if the, again, this book really does well. Man, I'm really going to go ham with the Young With a Purpose, um, you know, motto. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, it's on Amazon.com. I plan on releasing other websites like Lulu and um, Barnes and & Nobles and other places like, like that. Also, I plan on releasing the stores soon. But right now, I'm just going to release it, you know, on our, right now it's only available on the internet. So, but if you want to get, if you want to get a physical copy, um, there's also a, um, ebook version of this book, um, a Kindle version of the book. So if you're, if you like digital books, then you can buy it on your tablet or your phone or whatever. So, um, but yeah, this book is going to be, 
I, I'm, I feel like I feel like this post gonna be pretty big again. Um, so you know, thank you guys for for those who have already purchased the book. Thank you for buying the book on the book is in stores right now on Amazon.com. I was making this video. The book is ready to be released. I know when I started on the beginning of the video, I said I was like halfway dead through the book, but but after a little bit of typing, after a little bit of um, figuring out which poem is going to be in the book, I was like, you know what? Let me make this. Let me make up this video as a way of promoting the book. So with that being said, this is Mario signing off.